existing list. That leaves us with the disorderly conduct charges. What's the recommendation on this? A thousand dollar fine, Your Honor, on the first one. Um, the first one being uh, 717? Sure. Okay. I, I don't think it's going to affect it. doesn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to affect the both totality of the agreement. Um, and the other one, 654, a thousand dollar fine. Both of those fines suspended for two years of behavior.
So, sir, I have found that your plea was not only voluntarily and intelligently made, I impose the following sentences. Um, on the common law criminal contempt charge, um, you're sentenced to the House of Correction for a period of 59 days, which pre-trial confinement credit for 59 days. On the criminal threatening charges and the resisting arrest charge, you are sentenced to the House of Correction. Um, that sentence is deferred for two years on the following conditions. Good behavior, um, participation in successful completion of the behavioral health board, including the recommendations that come from that, and no contact unless incidental with Caleb Fournier. Um, upon completion of the behavioral health board, the sentence may be suspended at that point in time. As there are two violation levels <coughs> of disorderly conduct. There is a sentence of a $1,000 fine, and that fine is suspended for two years of good behavior. And good behavior is defined as not committing any felonies, misdemeanors, or major violations. Thank you. Yes. Uh, there's a $300 fine also suspended. Oh, oh sorry. That's yeah. a thousand on each. It's a thousand on one and 300 on the other? Right. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, he should be $186 on the concealment uh, from 
2017, you owe $457.28 on that. There's another inhaling toxic vapor from 2017, for which you owe $620. And it looks like in November of 17, we filed a motion to make monthly payments. It was scheduled for a hearing, and we failed to appear. So when can you start making these payments? As soon as I get released. Are you being held on this? Uh, I don't think so, but I don't know if this can be something that they can uh, pull with it and use it. I don't know how much money you get a day for sitting around with it. So you looks like you're being held on a superior court? Yes. Okay. What's the status of that case? Um, sure. I haven't seen my lawyer in a couple months. Okay. Who represents you? Uh, I'm not too sure. Somebody at Claremont. Okay. So I'm going to schedule this matter out so that we can address the bodies of this period. This matter is addressed. <coughs> so we we'll vacate any warrant on this case, fines. Okay. So we're checking to see when your superior court case is coming up, so we'll continue these fines out as well as the time time body of the fines. So oh, I'll be okay. Okay, so So we're going to put this on again for the same date that your superior court case is on, so that way um, we can see what happens with the superior court case. Okay. And if you're released, then we can figure out what kind of payments you can start making. Or you can get some kind of payment from the prosecutors? I'm not sure how you're being held, but method by that, you may not be able to apply it to this if you're applying it to that. Okay? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs>
Okay. My water is suddenly taken back from being in the hospital. I'm not here that you haven't seen or not experienced since you've been picked up. So, okay. Probation. Probation recommended. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank And bail right now is $1,500 cash? Yes, sir. And that's all in the probation? Yes, sir. Okay. So we'll maintain $1,500 cash. And is there bail on? I'm just trying to So violation of probation is on 1627. And it's then. CR 182, is there, you're saying to a warrant on that one? I believe, Your Honor, he failed to appear back on June 5th. At which point there already was a violation of the warrant. Maybe there was a violation of the warrant. Okay, so right now the bail is skipped. I'm seeing only the bail on those on both. It's just on the violation of probation. And that's 1500 That's fine. I just want to make sure it was Absolutely. Addressed. So we're going to leave it as is. And when Mr. Potter is back, is the plan to have him meet with Mr. Griffin and see if he would take him back into behavioral health? I know that he will take him back. Okay. Um, but I'm wondering what his specific treatment plan and recommendations are going to be so that potentially uh, well, he's off the next meeting. Okay. Do you know when the Jackie case is scheduled? July 31st is when we're Okay. So, what would you like to do with this case today? Continue it until after that? Continue at least for uh, two weeks. Yeah, yeah I would say. Because uh, uh, there's a possibility of the uh, result. Sure. So okay. So, that would be. Two weeks would be after the July, yeah, before the July date. So you think that we're going to resolve the Jaffer case or is that the Jaffer court in two weeks as well? I'm thinking at least there might be agreement for a pre-trial bill, potentially for a program. Okay. So we can continue this for a review in two weeks. I'd like to have a And um, just so I understand, on CR 182, that's the behavioral health court as part of that as well? That's correct. Okay. So is the state looking to make any changes to that? Uh, we're on board with it, but just things this nice. Okay. If I find out, we might be able to go into residential treatment or something like that. I expect that would be fine. Okay. So we'll continue this until we're ready. Let's just stay there. Okay, thank you. Michael Duvall. So has he been arranged under one of them? I think he is. 
questions. Can you just bring it down on the five sheet? And is there a bail set up now? Uh, it was bail set up the first one. Uh, is It was a false imprisonment. Um, okay. Essentially, what happened? There was an argument. There was an 
accusation of false imprisonment. Um, he had left the scene when he was intoxicated. He got the DWI, and then I, I don't think the state would disagree that it was discovered that the false imprisonment charge was, at the very least, not well supported. Okay. Correct. And the state, um, your position was that there, you have no reason to believe that he is not entitled to the um, return of these That's comments. Right. Okay. So there was a, a stalking order at some point, is that correct? There was, and it was vacated on May 10th. Okay. I have a copy, if you don't have any files. <coughs> Actually, you vacated. <laughs> nothing prohibiting him from the return of the firearms. I would I'm just confused because Bella is saying it's not firearms, but you're telling me that it's we're talking about firearms. Right? Yeah, fire. Okay. Okay. So that motion is granted. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. You can get a copy of the first. Yes.
Did anyone force you or threaten you to enter into this plea? No. Did anyone make any promises to you in an effort to get you to enter into this plea? No. Are you currently under the influence of any substance interfering with your ability to think clearly? No. Okay. And there are a number of rights that are listed on the front of this document mm -hmm. in the highlighted section at the bottom. Did you read those over? Yes. Did you have any trouble reading or understanding them? Yes. Did you have any questions about them? Yes. Are you voluntarily giving up those rights today? Yes. Okay. You have the right to have the state summarize the facts against you. It's called an offer of proof what they would prove if this case went to trial. Would you like to hear that or would you like to waive that? I find that the defendant has knowingly, voluntarily, and intelligently entered into this plea, and thus with understanding of the consequences. And this will count against her for purposes of certification as an actual defendant, correct? Okay, so do you understand that? Did you read that part of the process? Yeah. The director of motor vehicles would count this against you if they were to review your record for certification as an actual defendant. Okay, knowing that, are you comfortable going forward? Yeah. Okay. What's the recommendation from this case? It would be a $250 fine plus the penalty assessment. So I accept your plea and I impose the sentence of a fine $250 plus a $60 penalty assessment, so it's a total of $310. Are you able to pay that today? Um, I'll set up a payment plan. Okay, so if you set up a payment plan, there's going to be an additional fee that's added on. Okay, just so you're aware. How long will it take you to pay that? Okay, so if you see the first topic, you can take care of that, okay? Okay, right. thank you. Thank you. <coughs> certain rights. You have the right to a trial, to see here and call witnesses, to testify on your own behalf or not testify. You have the right to have the state prove its case beyond a reasonable doubt. Do you understand all of that? And you have the right to appeal issues of law to the Supreme Court. Do you understand all of that? Okay, are you voluntarily giving up those rights today? Okay, did anyone force you or threaten you to enter into this plea? Did anyone make any promises to you in an effort to get you to enter into this plea? Are you currently under the influence of any substance interfering with your ability to think clearly? Okay. Um, would you like to hear a summary of the facts against you, what the state will prove? I find that the defendant is knowingly, voluntarily, and intelligently entered into this plea and does so with understanding of the consequences. What's the recommendation for the state? The state recommends the standard $124 fine. So is it $124 or is it $100 plus $124? $100 plus $124. Thank you. I also have a motion to destroy. Yes, okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So they're asking that they be allowed to destroy the. I mean, you can get it back if you like. I'm going to grant the motion. <laughs> Okay, so there's a fine, sir, of $124 that you have to pay in total. Yep. Are you able to pay that today? Yes. Okay, so if you pay it today, this will all be taken care of. Okay? Perfect. So go see the court's office. Thank you. Uh, there were the state satisfied. Okay. Thank you. So 
September 4th at 1 30. So this matter will be continued to September 4th at 1 30, okay? If you see the clerk's office, they will be able to print out with the date and time on it, all right? Thank you. Thank you. Casey Gutton. Your Honor, there should be two charges, one for unlawful possession, one for littering, state standing forward on the unlawful possession only. So, Mr. Gentleman, there were two charges against you that were on for arraignment today. The state is indicating that they're only going forward with one of them. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay, so the charge against you is unlawful possession. The allegations are that you have no possession of alcoholic beverage, um, that being whiskey, while you're under the age of 21. How old are you, sir? I'm 17. Okay. Do you have a parent with you today? Uh, okay, thank you. Just... So I am being told that you would like to enter a plea to this charge, is that correct? Uh, yes, please. Are you pleading guilty to this charge? Yes. And are you dad? Yes, sir. Do you want to come up with it? Sure. Okay. And sir, do you understand the nature of the charges against your son? Okay, and are, he's indicating that he wants to plead guilty. Are you comfortable with him doing that today? Yes. Okay, and I have an acknowledgement of waiver of rights form, Mr. Dutton Younger. Um, did you have an opportunity to review this document? Yes, sir. Okay, is this your signature on the back page? Yes. And before signing it, did you read it over paying attention to the rights that are listed in the front? Yes, sir. Do you have any questions about those rights? No. Did you understand them? Yes. Okay, so we do have a right to a trial to see here and call witnesses to testify on your own behalf or not testify if you didn't want to, and you have the right to have the state prove, prove its case beyond a reasonable doubt. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay, you also have the right to appeal issues of law to the Supreme Court. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. By going forward today, you're giving up those rights. Are you voluntarily giving up those rights? Yes, sir. Okay, and Dad, are you comfortable with him giving up those rights? Yes. Okay, did anyone force you or threaten you to enter into this plea? No. Did anyone make any promises to you in an effort to get you to enter into this plea? No. Are you currently under the influence of any substance interfering with your ability to think? Nothing. So you have the right also to have the state summarize the facts against you. It's called an offer of proof. Would you like to hear that, what they would prove if they went to trial, or would you like to waive hearing that? Waive. Okay. I find that the defendant does not only voluntarily and intelligently enter into this plea, and does so understand the consequences. <coughs> Just the recommendation from the state? A $300 fine plus a penalty assessment for a total of $372. Okay. So, sir, I accept your, your plea, and I impose the sentence of a fine of $300 plus a $72 penalty assessment. So there's $372 that you have to pay. Are you able to pay that today? Yes. Okay, so if you pay that today, then this will all um, be taken care of, okay? Thank you. Thank you. See the court's office. Thank you. Hello, Casey. Thank you. Your mom? Are you under 18? Is also an unlawful possession? It is both of them. Okay. Um, so, Mr. Casey, am I saying your name correctly? Yes. Okay. Um, there's one charge against you, the matter's on for agreement, but I have an acknowledgement of legal rights form. So, the charge against you is unlawful possession. The allegations are that you have in your possession an alcoholic beverage while being under the legal age of 21. Do you understand the nature of the charge against you? Yes, yes. Okay. And how old are you? 17. Okay. And are you entering a plea guilty to this charge today? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And your mom? Okay. And um, do you understand the charge against him? Are you comfortable with him entering a plea of, plea of guilty today? Yes. Okay. So, Mr. Casey, is this your signature on the back of this document? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And before signing it, did you read it over? Yes, Did you have any trouble understanding it? Yes. So there are a number of rights that you have that you're giving up by going forward today. Do you understand those rights? Yes, ma'am. So you have the right to a trial, to see your and call witnesses, to testify or not testify. You have the right to have the state prove its case beyond a reasonable doubt um, before you're found guilty. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. And you have the right to appeal issues of law to the Supreme Court. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. By going forward today, you're giving up those rights. Are you voluntarily giving up those rights? Yes, ma'am. Did anyone force you or threaten you to enter into this plea? No, ma'am. Did anyone make any promises to you in an effort to get you to enter into this plea? Are you currently under the influence of any substance interfering with your ability to think clearly? Okay. You have the right to have the state summarize the facts against you. Would you like to hear that or would you like to waive that? Okay. And mom, um, did you also go over this document with him? Do you understand the rights that he's giving up? And are you comfortable with him giving those up today? Okay. I find that the defendant is not only voluntarily and intelligently entered to this plea and does so with understanding of the consequences. And is the recommendation the same, the 300 plus the $72? It is, Your Honor. Okay. 
So, sir, I accept your plea, and I impose the sentence of a fine of $300 plus a $72 penalty assessment. So there's $372 that you have to pay. Are you able to pay that today? Not today. Okay, how long will it take you to pay that? Roughly 30 days. Okay, so you can't pay it all today. There's an additional $25 fee that's added on, okay? Thank you for the respect that you've shown the court today. Thank you. You're all set. See the clerk's office. Thank you. Melissa Wagner. Melissa Wagner. Melissa Wagner. Melissa Wagner. You're not addressing one charge? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, Ms. Hernandez, the state originally had three charges against you, but they've indicated that they're only going forward with two of the charges today, okay? So there is um, obedience to a flag person, so if you fail to obey a flag person, and you are charged with operating after suspension, the allegations are that on April 23rd, 2018, you did knowingly drive a motor vehicle upon a way, that being Old Homestead Highway, in Richmond, after your privilege to drive had been suspended on October 25th of 17 by the Massachusetts Director of Motor Vehicles. Do you understand that nature of the charges against you? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, and these were both violation level offenses, so they carry with them on fine. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, and I have an acknowledgement of waiver of rights form, so is it your intention to plead guilty to these charges today? Yes, Your Honor. And before signing, is this your signature on that case? Yes. Before signing it, did you read it over? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Did you have any trouble understanding it? No, Your Honor. Um, do you have any trouble understanding me today? No. Okay. So on this, there are a number of rights that are listed. Are you voluntarily giving up those rights? Yes, Do you have any questions about those rights? No. Did you understand them all? No. Did anyone force you or threaten you to enter into this plea? No. Did anyone make any promises to you in an effort to get you to enter into this plea? No. Are you currently under the influence of any substance interfering with your ability to think clearly? Yeah. Would you like to hear a summary of the facts against you? It's called an offer of proof. Okay. So you're waiving the offer of proof. And will this count against her for purposes of certification? Okay, so on the back of this, it talks about that, the certification as an individual offender. Did you read that over? Yes. So do you understand that this will count against you if you directed the motor vehicles which you review the driving record for certification as an individual offender? Yes. Okay. Knowing that, are you comfortable going forward? Yes, Your Honor. I find the defendant knowing the voluntary and intelligent and to this plea and does some of the consequences. What's the recommendation for the state? That the driving after suspension is $250 fine plus the penalty assessment of $320 total. Okay. And uh, the obedience to a flight person, a $50 fine with a penalty assessment, total penalty assessment for $62. Okay. So I accept your plea and I impose the fine of $50 um, plus $12 penalty assessment on the flag person. So there's a total of $62 in that case. And on the operating after suspension, the, the sentence is a fine of $250 plus a $60 penalty assessment. So that's $310. How long will it take you to pay that? Okay, you pay it today, then you're all set. So go see the court's office, okay? Thank you. Oh, and there's a motion to destroy the evidence that was seized, which I am going to grant. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Sarah Williams. Okay. Good morning. 
Ms. Williams. So I have one charge against you that's offered waiting today for conduct after an accident. That's, that's correct, and we'll amend that to a violation of the whole offense order. Okay. So the allegations are that you knowingly or should have known that you had been in a collision which resulted in damage to property. Um, so it was it another car that was struck? Yes. Okay. And that you failed to immediately stop the scene of the collision and give the owner um, your name, address, driver's license, registration, and number of the vehicle that you were operating. Do you understand the nature of the charge against you? And are you entering a plea today? Uh, yeah. Okay. Actually, Your Honor, I'd like her to change that to no. I'm going to enter a plea of no contest uh, because of the accident. Um, and I have an acknowledgement of waiver of rights form. Did you review this document? Yes. Is this your signature on the back page? Before signing it, did you read it over paying attention to the rights that you have that you're giving up by going forward today? Yes. Did you have any trouble reading or understanding those rights? No. Do you have any trouble understanding me today? No. Um, are you voluntarily giving up those rights? Yes. Did anyone force you or threaten you to enter into this plea? No. Did anyone make any promises to you in an effort to get you to enter into this plea? Are you currently under the influence of any substance interfering with your ability to think clearly? No. Okay. Would you like to hear a summary of the facts against you or would you like to waive that? I'll waive okay. I find that the defendant does knowingly, voluntarily, and intelligently enter into this plea and does so with understanding of the consequences. What's the recommendation from the state? The recommendation is for a five hundred dollar <coughs> fine. With 300 of that being suspended for one year on the defendant's good behavior, 200 plus the penalty assessment of 48 to pay. Okay, so Ms. Williams, I accept your plea and I impose the sentence as follows. There's a fine of $500. $300 of that fine is being suspended for one year of good behavior. Good behavior is defined as not committed to felonies, misdemeanors, or any general vehicle violations. So that leaves a fine of $200, and there's a penalty assessment of $48 that goes along with that. So $248 to pay. Are you able to pay that today? <coughs> okay, so I will um, allow you to pay it tomorrow and leave the admin fee provided to come in tomorrow to pay, okay? So go see the clerk's office and um, talk to them before you leave, okay? okay. Thank you. Kate Lee So this matter's on for a deferred sentence review. Okay. Um, what are we doing today? So my understanding from the test at CIA is that uh, you have had been going there to your group. I'm not clear on whether or not they have discharged or how you feel. Um, I haven't been able to repeat them in the past few weeks since I last week. So she was going to head over there hopefully today. Just explain what specifically the recommendations are in interaction with the community builder, or if she's done. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
motion to argue should fail to be restitution? Yes, Your Honor. The last payment was um, November 23, 2016. That's when Mr. Gennaro filed the motion for order. Okay. Today she came with a $100 money order, which she gave to me towards the restitution. She also signed a payment agreement, agreeing to pay $50 on a monthly basis. Street commencing on July 3rd. She understands that payment will be a larger payment because she had spoken to Mr. Demorado about making what at least Mr. Demorado thought she was going to be making a $250 at least payment today. So she's going to make up for that on the next payment okay. to catch her off. Okay. Um, so at this point in time, what is the request? Will we continue it for review or are you satisfied with the other at this point in time? I was satisfied with that, uh, what she's going to do. Um, okay. So she brought $100 today, and um, if she does not do the $150, um, the next thing on the other I imagine um, this time around might file something else, but it's currently I'm satisfied with what she's agreed to do. Okay, so you have to make sure that you're making this payment today, because otherwise the provision part of the deferred checks and file that she comes before this court, okay? Okay, okay so I will accept um, what. We are recommending that we just continue this tomorrow and we will let us know that the court know if there's any further action necessary. Thank you. Thank you. You're all Thank set. You. Thank you. 